Men are responsible for more greenhouse gas emissions. They call for a sex strike on carnivorous males. <laughs> Uh, and it's caused outrage in Germany, which is famous for its love of sausages. Uh, Lois <laughs> Perry is still with us. <laughs> and talking sausages from Peter, Kate Werner joins us uh, as well down the line. Kate, thank you so much for uh, appearing on GB News. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, your colleagues in Germany have achieved a fantastic sort of PR response to this. It's made a lot of noise as a story. But are we seriously telling the women of the world to stop having sex with men who eat meat? Well, you know, honestly, this is a bit of a tongue in cheek suggestion. Um, we don't really care about anybody's sex lives. But, you know, what we do care about is the billions of animals who are suffering and dying on farms every year to become hamburgers or sandwich filling. And we care about the planet, you know, the rainforest, which is being destroyed to create plantations to feed animals on farms or to graze animals who will be slaughtered for their flesh or their skin. You know, we have an abundance of vegan foods to choose from. It's the 21st century. There's no need to eat animals anymore. I'm a great admirer of PETA. They've done fantastic work over many years speaking up for animal rights. And Kate Werner, I couldn't agree with you more about animal cruelty, whether it's in a domestic setting or in a farm environment. But when did PETA become an organisation that decides whether or not we eat meat? I mean, what about organic meat that's... Uh, you know, pasture raised, just eating, eating grass in, in the wilds of the English countryside or the British countryside for that. Uh, what about free range chickens? All of that's fine, isn't it? Well, I mean, no, you shouldn't be eating animals. We can eat vegan food, which is much more nutritious and better for us. And unfortunately, the vast majority of animals in this country are not living on organic free range farms. They're living in factory farms where they're, you know, in terms of chickens, they're not able to stand after one or two weeks because their bodies are grown so massive, so unnaturally large that they suffocate, they have heart failure, they starve because they can't get to food or drink. Um, but, you know, this, this isn't about dictating dietary choices. It's about giving people information so they can make informed choices. And it's about, you know, it's important for people to know that by eating meat, they're increasing their risk for certain types of cancer. And that animal ag agriculture is the leading cause of climate change. You know, it's important for people to know where their meat comes from. And, you know, just like Paul McCartney said, if slaughterhouse said glass walls, we'd all be vegetarian. And, you know, that's so true. Um, A famous health expert, yeah, so Paul McCartney. I mean, the, the thing about <laughs> it is, Kate, that we've been existing on... Uh, an omnivorous diet for millions of years, which is why we are the predominant species on the planet. Uh, we're designed, aren't we, just to eat, you know, green fibrous vegetables, uh, berries and other fruits and animal protein, uh, fish, meat, dairy. Uh, the issue you've got with the vegan diet is if you have a vegan diet, any medic will tell you you've got to have supplements just to, uh, to make it healthy. That's not a ringing endorsement, is it? Well, I mean, you know, yes, you can supplement a vegan diet, um, but, but I'm vegan. I know lots of people who are vegan. Lots of people are in, in the UK are now vegan or vegetarian and they're living healthy lives. Um, they're lowering their chances of, of getting certain diseases, um, of dying of certain cancers, um, of elong they're elongating their lives, you know. Researchers at Oxford University back up that eating plant-based is the best way to combat climate change. And, you know, anyone who's doubtful of the benefits of a vegan diet, both for their own health and for the planet, can visit Peter's website and order one of our vegan starter kits. And, just and look, I'll, uh, I'll share the details of your website very shortly, uh, Kate. I'm going to bring Lois in in just one moment. But one final thought. Uh, what about uh, vegan ingredients? You know, if we were to go plant-based, you're looking at vast monocrop agriculture, aren't you, with fertilizers and pesticides? That's completely against nature. Well, I think the situation that we're in now with, um, you know, farming animals for their flesh is far more damaging for the planet. And I mean, it's not just PETA calling for a reduction in meat consumption. It's the UN as well. You know, it's saying that a massive reduction of meat intake is needed to curb the worst effects of climate change. And it's really not a drastic suggestion to say rather than eat a sausage roll, swap to a vegan sausage roll. And it's as easy as that. And Lois, do you, do you eat meat? Be huge. Yeah. 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 Lois, Lois, do you eat meat, Lois Perry? Yeah, every day, yeah. Absolutely love meat, and I like meat rare as well. And uh, what are your thoughts about the idea of going plant-based to save the planet? It's well reported that cows <laughs> and other livestock produce 
emissions which are which are heating the earth? Well, you know, I deal with a huge number of physicists and scientists, as you know, constantly every day of the week who think that that's not only nonsense, but hilarious, actually, that it's not causing any problems whatsoever with the environment. None. We've been farming for, as you say, hundreds of thousands of years with no problems whatsoever. And as for saying that vegan food is better for you and even lowers your carbon footprint, a lot of vegan food is highly, highly processed. And what could be better than just eating something that's completely natural, like a steak? Or, But where I do agree with you is on animal welfare, 100%. I think, you know, I try and if the meat that I eat, I try and make sure has the highest standards of welfare possible. So I, I do totally agree with you on that. Um, 